Hey Arlo, look at these cute undies I have for you. They've got tiger or cheetahs on them and they say Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. Do you want to wear these big boy underwear? Okay guys. Let's talk potty training day one. It did not go well. It started off all right. Um, I, when I finished editing the vlog, I came out, took all Arlo's clothes off. I told him we were going to try to learn how to go pee pee in the potty. And he said, okay, he seemed enthusiastic. And we tried about every 10, 15 minutes. Um, we would go sit on the potty and try and that he was fine with it he was like okay every time I said for the first every time I said let's go potty for the first three or four times then the fifth time there was some reticence the sixth time there was a fit and the seventh time, there was an all-out tantrum. Um, Arlo is very much a creature of habit. He's also very much his father's son. That means he has a penchant for drama. <laughs> Big time. Um, and... I mean, a switch up of his routine to him is just the end of the world. By the time we got to that full all-out tantrum, it was time for a nap. So, I put a diaper back on him because we're not trying to potty train while sleeping yet. Just during the day. Um, and when he's awake. So, I put a diaper back on him. And we took a nap and he slept for like, he slept from like 12.45 until 3.30, 4 o'clock. Like, huge nap because that's how big the tantrum was <laughs> when I tried to make him go sit on the potty. And he did not successfully go in the potty at all yesterday. Um, he had three accidents. He peed once on the uh, couch. That was fun to clean up. Then he pee peed on his chair, in his yellow chair in his room twice. That's vinyl. It was not a big deal. Just wet wipe it up and move on with your life. Uh, the couch was a little more difficult, but that, I mean, I didn't get on to him. I wasn't upset. I tried to explain to him, you know, because he was a little upset that his spot was wet. So I tried to explain to him, you know, this is why we're trying to go in the potty so that doesn't happen. And But at that point, just the mere mention of potty and it was blah. So, decided when he woke up, I tried to take him like one more time, still, still a fit, decided to call it for the day. And said well we're just gonna regroup so I did some research and I looked you know I did some research beforehand um, on this whole you know potty train them in a week keep them naked thing that I had decided to try but I feel like it's not going to work as well with Arlo so we're still going to try a version of that, but we're going to adjust it a little. I looked up um, how to potty train a child with autism. It's the first time I've said that on here. Um, we don't have an autism diagnosis on Arlo, and we don't know that he is. But there are a lot of similarities. Um, especially with his rigidity about his routine um, and sort of some of the sensory things 
that uh, go along with potty training or, you know, different. And um, so it said, instead of keeping them naked, to put them in underwear. So we're gonna do that. It also suggested uh, giving him a small treat when he, um, when he has a successful try, when he goes and sits on the potty, um, you know, cause just that is a change up in his routine and it's different for him. And so that's a struggle. And so we're going to give him a Skittle every time, just one Skittle every time he has a successful sit on the potty, not successful in like he goes pee yet or poo or whatever but just successful in the sense that he goes and he tries, he sits on the toilet. Um, and that way, hopefully, it'll give him incentive to keep trying something good to associate with trying until it becomes a routine. Because once it becomes a routine for him, it's locked in and it'll be good, but it's just getting there. So we're gonna try those things today hope it goes a little better um and just see how it goes you know maybe i mean he gives all the signs of readiness and he's able to help you know redress himself and he can communicate when he's gone potty and you know like all the signs are there but he just struggles with changing anything so we're gonna keep at it and see how it goes this week and if it's not working then maybe he's not ready and we'll stop and wait a couple months and try again but we'll just see how today goes Hey Arlo, look at these cute undies I have for you. They've got tiger or cheetahs on them and they say Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. Do you want to wear these big boy underwear? This A. Yeah, do you want to wear those big boy no, underwear? A. I see that. There's an A. A. Okay, let's, let's take your diaper off and put these on, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, so that went well. Um, he did demand his Skittle right away. So I gave him one before and then one after. And that's fine. But, um, cause it's just one Skittle. <laughs> um, he, he didn't resist. I set a timer on my phone for us to sit and try for five minutes. And when the five minutes was up, we got down and he got to put on his big boy underwear. And he was happy about that. And luckily I have plenty. So, oh, my phone's ringing. Is that a good starburst? Lucky. Did you go pee pee in the potty? Yes. 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 Good job. High fives. Boom. Knuckles. Boom! Good job, Bubba. Knuckles. Knuckles. Eric. High five. Knuckles. Good job, Bubba. So things are going better today. Um, little man has not been as resistant as yesterday. There, that's better light. And uh. Yeah, Mama was playing Harry Potter Legos earlier. Um, he has had many, many try times. We have put him, I put him on the toilet about every 15 minutes all day long. It's now one. And he has not fought me once on it. Um, we get a Skittle before, a Skittle when we're done, and a Bluey episode in between while we're sitting on the toilet. And last time we sat on the toilet, he did a pee pee. Yay! Now it startled him. And so cut the flow off and he couldn't get it going again. And I sat there and I waited and I waited hoping that, you know, it'd start back up and he'd finish. He did not, so he did have another accident afterwards. But that's okay, because baby steps, it's progress. Yeah, that's okay. 
So, doing better. Blue and white and pink. And pee pee. Pee pee. Pee pee. Y and C. Y and C. Can I have a kiss? What do you got there, Bubba? Yes, ice cream. Ice cream? Is that a reward for doing such a good job today? Yeah. You went potty in the potty so many times today. I'm so proud of you. High five. Yeah. Can you eat your ice cream? Good stuff. You're done. I see that, buddy. I got it for you. It's chocolate chip. Yeah. Is it yummy? Yes. Mmm. Good morning guys uh, we just dropped Morgan off at work and I thought I'd wrap up this first couple days of potty training vlog yesterday went so much better I'm really excited to get started again today we have four school first and I'm just gonna leave him in a diaper for that because um, there are no there won't be any toilets out there and I think it would confuse him and he'd just have a fit anyway. So we're gonna put leave him in a diaper for that. But after that we're gonna get going again. He pottied in the toilet so many times yesterday. Um I was really excited for him. At least seven or eight times he made it to the potty. Now he probably batted 50% there, so I mean there were at least seven or eight accidents, but I think that's to be expected and a pretty good average. It was definitely an improvement from yes from the day before, so I'm just thrilled and I think we're doing okay. We're just going to keep at it. Aren't we, Arlo? Say yeah. Yeah. Mom. Yeah, say potty. Yeah, potty. Yeah. Okay, so that's it for today's vlog, but before I let you guys go, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, and if you like these videos and you want to see more, I release videos on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so go ahead and click the subscribe button for me, and hit the like button. Go ahead and leave a comment down below um, if you don't don't mind I would really like to hear from you guys on your potty training stories and any tips or advice you have still looking for all the encouragement I can get yesterday was exhausting I was so tired when it was time for bed but it was also so rewarding um, we're gonna keep going and we'll see you guys later